Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Ofra. We will start in one minute. We are very happy and proud to have with us Dr. Lotika Barati from Jammu. Lotika is like a meteor. She's amazing. Uh, she done many interesting research, which she didn't ask ask her to tell about, but I would like to say that uh, one of her uh, breakthrough was uh, she gave us a lot of information about how marmot therapy can help us attain eyes uh, eye and uh, other issues. And she had one of the first uh, marmot therapy on this subject. I think it was one of the first in the new era, the, this kind of research. So hats off. And thanks to all our teachers, this is how we got to know each other through Dr. Renu Prasad and Dr. Shishir Prasad. Uh, so Lotika is now in Jammu. She's no longer in Haridwar and she is by far one of the leaders in her, in her uh, department. Uh, she studied uh, for postgraduate in Rishikul College in uh, Haridwar in Uttarakhand, and then she moved back to Jammu, and since then she's a consultant in Shalakya Tantra unit in the government Ayurvedic hospital there. She's a graduate from uh, Jammu, so it's like coming back home. And for her, it's like a huge mission because this amazing woman, she's like all, oh, she wakes up early in the morning, prepare kids to school, run to the university, and then she have time for my request. Oh, please give us a lecture about your field. So thank you, Latika, for engaging and your kindness. And uh, please start. Thank you so much, Oprah, for such a beautiful introduction. I'm amazed that you still remember that my thesis was the first clinical thesis. I'm amazed. Thank you so much for remembering that. So uh, good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Latika Bharti. I'm working as medical officer and consultant in Shalakya department in Government Ayurvedic Hospital, Jammu. Uh, as Oprah told, I have done my post-graduation from Rishikul under the supreme guidance of uh, Dr. Gunjan Sharma and uh, Dr. Shishir Prasad. I hope uh, he might be here. Still not here, but uh, I hope he'll join. So he's my mentor and I am a little bit expert in Marma just because of Dr. Shishir Prasad. So. So, uh, owing his blessings, mm, I think, Ofra, I should, I shall start. Yes, please. And if you need to share, please share the screen. Okay. Is my screen visible? Yes. Okay, fine. So, I will start with, uh, can I know who are the participants here? Mm, mostly people that want to know some of doctors. We have two that I recognize as doctor and I see some from Israel and uh, acquaintance from India. So... Uh, it's the mass that we're talking. It's not an expert, you know. It's not what we okay, talk fine. one. Because I'm, so, I must be knowing this thing. The media, sure. I should uh, conversate with you people. So I think mostly are the medicos, right? Mm. Okay, fine. I'll start with, as you are already intimated that my topic for today's webinar is I and ENT health through Ayurveda. So all of you know about Ayurveda, right? Are you? is the life and Veda is science or knowledge. So Ayurveda is the science of life or knowledge of life. And I can see uh, people like Ofra are just propagating Ayurveda like anything. They are doing everything to propagate and promote Ayurveda in different countries of the world also. She's from Israel, we are from India, people are from India and people are I might be joining from different countries. So all of should all of us should know what is Ayurveda actually. So let's talk about the eye problems. I will take the queries later on. Uh, let me start with common eye problems that people usually face. First, you can see there are refractive errors. Refractive errors means there is problem in vision, either near vision, either distant vision, either there is uh, uh, like astigmatic people are there. So there are many refractive errors. So presbyopia, problem in near vision, usually uh, this problem occurs after 40 years. Allergic conjunctivitis, like itching and watering in the eye, then stress-related eye problems. These are common eye problems that people usually face. So what you can do to get rid of these eye problems? 
first the mandatory thing is time to time eye checkup nobody can uh, get cure of any problem at home you must go and uh, have your regular eye checkups so second point is as ayurveda emphasizes on that prevention is better than cure swasthasya swastharakshana aturasya vikar prashamnam so first we have to prevent the disease after that we have to cure so ayurveda focuses on prevention from disease what are the preventive aspects in eye health you can see on the screen anjan anjan is very you know uh, it is pro, uh, since long time people are using surma in india we say it surma so it is anjan regular use of medicated anjan can prevent you from many eye problems nasya that is nasal oleation nasya means you can use anu tel you can use mustard oil you can use coconut oil or you can use badam oil for regular oleation of your nasal passage next is netra prakshalan netra prakshalan is eye wash you should regularly wash your eyes and eye wash can be done either with lukewarm water or with medicated water you can see there is decoction of tripla and muleti tripla and muleti are the frequently available raw drugs you can use that for the decoction formation and you can wash your eyes with tripla and muleti next is pada abhyang pada abhyang is foot massage foot massage yani you have to like uh, i'll let you know what regularly you can do at your home uh, like you sleep in night just before you go to bed just massage your foot with either grit or with oil better is to use grit then pad prakshalan you should regularly wash your feet properly it should not be dirty paduka dharan that is proper footwear you should use proper footwear and there are certain yogic exercises when you are doing these yogic exercises you can prevent yourself and in fact you can get rid of many problems i'll explain it later next yoga and eye disorders there are lot of yogic eye exercises that improves the functioning of eye and prevents us from many eye related problems especially stress related eye disorders myopia that is short sightedness the people who cannot uh, see far objects hypermetropia that is long sightedness that the people who cannot see near objects we can use yogic exercises in that see why you need to choose yoga i will talk about what you can do at home and what other therapies you can opt that you can go for a ayurvedic physician or ayurvedic ophthalmologist to consult see why you need to choose yoga because powerful glasses or lenses whatever you are using they cannot correct the refractive errors what they can do they can just have your vision right but they cannot correct it if you have to use it steadily one needs to understand that glasses never cure bad sight okay powerful glasses can many of times worsen your eye problems because high numbers can ma- many of the times make you giddiness you, you can have giddiness you can have vertigo because of heavy lenses powerful glasses can have such eye problems also many eye disorders are related to the malfunctioning of ocular muscles many of the times we have strain in eye watering in eye that is because of the fatigue of the ocular muscles that can be related to mental problems that can be related to emotional tensions and yoga specifically pacifies this mental pressure and emotional tensions see you can see on your screen these yogic exercises right can you yes okay fine i'll explain one by one i will request every participant just take a moment and do all these exercises with me let it be a, a fraction of minutes or fraction of seconds that we will improve our vision by doing these exercises i will let you know each and every point see first there is palming what you have to do in palming just rub your hands just rub your hands rub your hands and the heat absorb this heat on your eyes like this you can see in the picture she is doing it like this you can do it like this or you can do it like this right and you will feel so much relaxation in your eyes so this is palming exercise right next is blinking what you have to do you just have to blink 10 to 20 times in fact we just uh, we recommend our patients la- like you are sitting uh, you are using computers or you are using digital media keep on blinking your eyes so that your tear film should be distributed properly and you should not suffer from any dry eye problem or computer vision syndrome so you need to blink your eyes continuously 
now i will explain the exercises you need not to read this point just concentrate on my voice and concentrate on my actions what you have to do there are nine exercises you need to do what you have to do just keep your thumb front in front uh, ofra uh, am i visible yes but your thumb is like okay yeah yeah is it okay now yeah yeah, yeah what you have to do you just have to keep your thumb thumb in front of your eyes keep your neck straight don't move your neck just move your eyes what you have to do move your head towards total right extreme right you can move to right and move your eyes along with that don't move your neck you have to keep your neck straight and move your eyes right same thing you have to do with your left thumb keep your thumb straight and then keep your head straight don't move your head and keep your eyes moving towards the left side like this so this is the movement of the eyeball to right and to left fine this was sideways viewing next you can see front and sideways viewing in this what you have to do in short i will tell you you have to keep your thumb in front one in front and next on your leg right so you have to see in front and then on the another side you have to move your eyeball towards the extreme left side like this lower side in this case you have to uh, sit straight with your legs and this movement will be like this diagonally you have to see diagonally towards left diagonally towards right then upwards diagonally towards upward diagonally towards left upwards so this is the movement like this 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 and this okay sideways done diagonal movements done then up and down view in this you have to keep your thumb straight in front of your head keep your head steady and move your eyes extreme up up to the level you can go like this then come back with your thumb and go down like this fine so this is yes uh, sneha uh, you want to say something yes i wanted to ask that uh, while sitting matlab uh, one hand on the right side and one hand on the your knee so is it like it should be on the left wala eye uh, hand and one right eye on the right right hand is it so uh, or you are saying about up and down wing or you are saying about front and sideways front and side okay in case of front and sideways na uh, see i'll tell you uh, use one hand like you are uh, using your right hand right you are seeing in front keep your uh, leg straight keep your right thumb on the right knee right you kept your thumb on the right knee and looking straight if you want to use your thumb otherwise you can just see straight so you have to see straight and after that you have to see towards the right thumb that is on the right knee right okay is it understand so you have to come back to uh, the center then again you have to do it with left thumb like you have to see straight then the left thumb should be on the left knee left knee so left knee then you are seeing straight after that you have to see on the left knee so it is diagonal movement it is exactly you know these are exact yogic positions but weak people cannot do that so i will let you know in the uh, end that how you can manage it at your workplaces how you can manage it at your home also uh, great great yeah you got Thank this you. point yes yes okay then there is rotational viewing in rotational viewing first see preliminary nose tip gazing all of you are doctors so you should know be uh, you, doctors i doctors usually uh, recommend uh, that convergence exercise so what is this preliminary nose dip gazing this is convergence exercise what you have to do just keep your thumb in front look for your thumb then slowly make your thumb to come towards your nose like this and then move your thumb forward like this. right this is preliminary nose dip gazing and at last there is rotational viewing rotational viewing what you have to do just sit straight and keep your thumb in front and move your thumb in a circle like this clockwise and then in anti clockwise you have to move your eyes not your head this should be in your mind that you have to move your eyes your eyeball should be moving your eye should be uh, focusing on the tip of the thumb and likewise you will do all the movement so in short i will let you know see this was all about the yogic exercises what you can do you have to uh, uh, focus on your thumb move it to the right side move it to the left side right then up 
then down then diagonally right up left up then right down then left down and at last in the center make a circle like this this clockwise and then this is anti clockwise after you complete this session one session you have to rub your right, uh, hands like this and absorb the heat that is palming fine is it clear to everybody yes. so next some things you should know that while you are doing this yogic exercises you should not use your glasses it should not be bright or dim light you should not strain a lot it should not be like it is very tedious for me bahut thak jaunga ye sab exercises karunga ya karungi it should not be like that you have to close your eyes after every exercise and the best time to do these exercises is early morning okay uh then next see uh, these are the movements i was saying you you can see the eyeball right up down see in the center first up center down sideways diagonally up and down diagonally up and down and rotational movement these are the nine movements you have to do. this was all about the yogic exercises when you are doing these exercises it's not only for the patients it's not only for the people who are having some eye problems people can do this normally people can do this so that they should not fall into any eye problem what yogic exercises do they tone the eye muscles they help to improve vision improve focus in fact they strengthen your eye muscles and help the coordination of both eyes and relax and relieve the tension and stress in the eye muscles fine this was all about yogic exercises other yogic exercises this was the the yogic exercises i told you this you can do at your office places you can do at your home also but now what i am telling you this should be done under the supervision of your doctor that is jalne jalneti in jalneti you can see in this picture na no? you can use saline water you can use lukewarm water you have to pull it from one nostril and ex uh, expel it from the another nostril in tratak tratak is very much recommended exercise yogic exercise for eye problems for refractive errors and it is having very wonderful results you can see in this picture what you have to do you have to sit in the dark room and light a candle in front of your eyes and focus on the flame of the candle just for keep on focusing on the candle flame and you have to focus till your eyes get clear up then there are a lot of tears then you can stop this exercise you can do it two to three rounds only then pranayam pranayam you can do at home anulom vilom everybody is knowing what is anulom vilom you can see in that picture and brahmari pranayam these two pranayams are very good for eye and ent health also there are certain yoga asanas also that you can do yoga asanas uh, for good vision see there is chakrasana all these in all these asanas you can see there is increased circulation towards the head that is towards your eye area that is why these are good for your vision see it is chakrasana then halasana you can see in the pictures bhakasana that is crane pose and sarvangasana in all these four asanas there is increased circulation towards your head area so it improves your vision in this way next guys i uh, told you about uh, um, netra prakshalana eye wash so what you have to do uh, in eye wash usually what people do in india they just uh, get up in the morning and wash their eyes right what you can replace in this case you can use eye wash cups either you can you uh, generally wash your eyes but what you have to use I uh, I told you lukewarm water or trifla muleti cloth. Either you use only trifla. What you have to do? Take one fourth tablespoon of trifla and uh, uh, mix it in uh, one glass of hot water. Keep it whole night. When you wake up in the morning, the sediments will be settled. The upper clean water. Just steep that water and wash your eyes with that. Trifla is wonderful drug for eyes. either you uh, take it orally or either you use it locally both will benefit you best so this is eye wash in this case you are seeing in this picture now what you have to do just uh, fill that tripla decoction in the uh, eye wash cups and immerse your eyelids in the cups and just blink your eyes 20 times you need to do this only once a day then foot massage i already told you 
आई थिंक वी शुड डू इट आवर सेल्फ इट्स नॉट की पीपल शुड डू दैट यू शुड डू इट योर सेल्फ then as ofra was telling marma therapy now we are coming towards marma therapy what is marma therapy it's the precise art of touching an individual in exactly the right place at critical moment of time for the purpose of healing so as ofra told you that it was the first clinical thesis on marma therapy and these were the points that we uh, uh, used in this marma therapy for vision improvement our thesis work was on myopia that a simple myopia and we pressed these uh, six pair of marmas see what is this what you have to do and it's not only for myopia in fact whenever you feel strain in your eyes right, whenever you feel headache whenever you feel like your eyes are tired just press these points and it is miracle i must tell you that every patient who is coming to me and they are saying we are we are having headache it's it's um, i can tell you matlab it is for 5 minutes or 10 minutes this is feel so much relaxed that they say yes we have to press these points so what are these points this is a palm yes uh, somebody wants to ask a question hi so there are six marmas apan avart thapni vidhur shipra and talhrede what you have to do if you are prescribing it for your patients so what you need to do you just ask your patient to press these points 20 times in the morning and 20 times uh, in the evening so see this work was done in rishikul only so you can see in these pictures this is first point is the apang marma what is the apang marma this point the temples area right the depressed part what you have to do just fingers like this and press it like this but the pressure should be mild it should not be severe pressure because here are very many vessels are there so just mild pressure here this is a palm in avart what you have to do your thumbs like this in this position angles of the eyebrows you have to press it like this like this fine this was avart marma then sthapni marma you can seeing in this picture glabella point this is sthapni what you can do just take a pinch like this and just press it like this this is sthapni marma fourth is vidhur marma This is very wonderful, Marma. It is having good results in tinnitus, hearing problems also, and in vision improvement also. In Vidhur Marma, what you have to do at the back of the back of your ear, there is mastoid area, right? So you have to press it like this. Either you can use use your thumb like this. So this is the Vidhur Marma. Next is Shipra Marma. Shipra Marma was uh, done in. feet only not in hands because i already told you foot massage is very good for that so feet are having direct link with our eyesight so we chose the shipra marma and talhrede marma uh, between grade 2 and the middle finger shipra marma and talhrede in the center of the feet four angles away from the junction of the feet with the fingers right this was the talhrede marma so this was all about marma therapy what you have to do just press 20 times in the morning 20 times in the evening and see the results now the diet i will come towards the diet that you can recommend to your patients that you can have at your home in fact you can tell your relatives what you should to take to improve your vision this is grit continuous use of grit you should use go grit either any grit but it should be you know pure hona chahiye so it should be pure so you can use grit the diet that is rich in vitamin a and vitamin c and carotenoids will be beneficial for your eyes so it is grit milk we prescribe patient we just ask patients to have milk two times a day triphala amla specifically amla i usually say like we say na that one apple a day keeps a doctor away so i usually say one amla a day keeps eye problems away from so just have one amla early morning empty stomach just have one amla people who cannot take amla they can uh, like they cannot have uh, uh, actual raw amla they can have their murabba they can uh, use it as uh, achar also so amla or tripla as a whole you can use then raktashali that is red rice and colorful fruits like pomegranate is there black grapes green leafy vegetables that the colorful things have carotenoids they are rich in carotenoids that is very much beneficial for the vision improvement then eggs are there fish fish specifically salmon fish is very good for eyes almonds are there berries are there so these food items you can prescribe 
so that vision should be improved you can add to your diet so that your vision should be taken this was all about the preventive aspect of the vision problems now i am coming towards curative aspect if there are doctors they will understand that we have certain procedures in ophthalmology that is called kriya kalpas so we opt these procedures we are doing all these procedures in diseased eyes also and in healthy eyes also to maintain eye health also and to get rid of eye problems also you can see in this pictures first is netra tarpan i will show you these in videos see there is netra tarpan then second one is netra sek eye sedation third is vidalak the medicated paste is applied over the eyes leaving the eyelashes pindi the uh, drug is just put in the portly and then it is uh, pulled on the eyes then nasya i already told you nasya is nasal oleation and last anjan see uh now you can see in the videos can you see the video ofra is it visible yes see what you have to do uh, in netra tarpan what we do marsh atta we just uh, we have this marsh atta and we make the wall boundary with that and medicated ghee is retained in the eyes and patient is asked to blink so this is the picture of the netra tarpan procedure you have to do it properly but it should be it should always be done under the supervision of an expert it should not be done as at you can do it at home no it is not possible so you should have the uh, consultation from your uh, doctor and then it should be done under his or her supervision next is netra sek see this is decoction of trifla and muleti and we are pouring it on the eyes either patient can open eyes or you have to it can be done on closed eyes also so this is netra sek this was all about the eye problems that how you can get rid of eye problems what procedures are there in ayurveda for eye problems and what other uh somebody raised hand bharti you have some question suppose no so uh, now i'll be taking the ent uh, part now ent related problems what are the common ent related problems people face that is ear pain hearing problems tinnitus that is added sound in the ears people say we have ringing sound in the ears that is tinnitus headache usually 80% of the people are suffering from headache then allergic rhinitis people are having sneezing watery running nose nasal blockage that is allergic rhinitis common cold and cough these are the ent related problems no uh regarding that what you need to do as i already told you regular ent checkup should be there I, i'll be telling you what at home you can do in this uh, in, uh you can see this screen what you can do at home if somebody is having ear wax you know ear wax if somebody is uh, saying that i feel like my ear is blocked i have some wax in the ear if you cannot visit your doctor so what you can do at home just put a drop of garlic or use warm coconut oil two to three drop drops of warm coconut oil that will liquefy your wax and that wax will come out so it is a it is the uh, way that you can deal it with that uh, it at home only otherwise you should consult your doctor for that because in case of hard wax you need to use wax softeners and after that you need to do syringe then sore throat now as there are winters in india so there uh, usually people are having sore throat so what you can say to them that regularly you use um, you just boil your milk with pepper that is kali mirch turmeric haldi and muleti yani yashti madhu so you can use these three drugs and boil milk properly and then you you can use this milk in case of common cold and cough there should be regular use of onion and garlic india is a very spiritual country no so many of the people are saying we we don't eat onion we don't eat garlic and in ayurveda we say that is tamasic aahar is tamasic aahar but i think as per today's scenario we should consume onion and garlic on the regular basis so that we can have the benefits of that drug so you can use ginger tea that is regularly used at home also ginger tea 
and then if there is nasal blockage or you are suffering from common cold you can go for steam inhalation with eucalyptus oil that you can also use either if you are not uh, with eucalyptus oil you, what you can do from your kitchen you can use pudina uh, you know pudina leaves we can uh, you can have pudina leaves then a little bit uh, that uh, peppermint that is called pudina leaves and tulsi leaves just boil them and inhale the, that steam that will be beneficial for you then fumes from the burnt turmeric or gukul in our homes also you see uh, in india our dadi nanis uh, used to uh, like gugul haldi sarso they used to put that and uh, in the coal and this few uh, uh, have that fumigation in the whole home they just do that so what is that yes neha uh i wanted to uh, have a question regarding this air wax problem so yes. should we be putting out garlic di- directly uh, no, oil no, directly no. Use, just or? no no not i'm not saying garlic oil you just have to use a, take two to three garlic or take a you know a mixture of garlic and just press that and the juice that uh, will get you uh, you will get from garlic that you can pour then one to two drop i'm not saying about that garlic oil I will tell you okay. in that air pain that is used in air pain. I will uh, okay. tell you. Okay, so uh, fumes from the burnt turmeric that is very very much beneficial. In fact, we are using it at therapeutic phase also. What you have to do if you are feeling so much of congestion in chest or in your um, nasal area, what you can do just tawa rehta na, mara tawa. So you have to put that turmeric powder on the tawa and burn that and just inhale that. either you use turmeric or if you are available with gugul you can use that also so in case of headache if people are having headache what immediately you can do just make a paste of ginger either you add some milk to that and apply it on your forehead it will get immediate relief with that i will say just press the marma points i told you earlier that will you will get immediate results with that and i say it with 100% surety you use it and let me know you will have 100% results in that case next is air pain uh, that uh, sneha was saying air pain in case of air pain people uh, usually have air pain like m- midnight air pain is there what you have to do you cannot visit your doctor in that case what you can do just take two spoons of mustard oil and put a garlic one one piece of garlic in that just heat it up and till it gets brown just make it le- lukewarm and sieve it use that oil that is uh, cooked in garlic use that oil two to three drops in each of your air that you will get rid of air pain in that case but in case air pain is because of uh, otitis media or otitis externa you should be knowing if there is discharge you shouldn't use air pain because in uh, allopathy or in other sciences they recommend that you should not use oil in your air but we are using it regularly there are, there is no harm with that so don't keep it as a myth that we cannot pour oil in our uh, airs it's not like that rather you should know that there is a uh, rather there is perforation should not be there or uh, like a csom your yeah, asm should not be there in that case you cannot use this surface oil okay so now uh, you can see on your screen what therapeutic procedures you can do in case of ent problems first you are seeing in this picture karan puran karan means air puran means to fill the air with medicated oils you can see in this we just fill the medicated oil in the air after doing proper massage proper uh, facial massage or proper massage of that particular area pro- proper sudation of that area after that we fill that this oil in the ears so this is called karan puran and it is having very wonderful results in ear pain in tinnitus in hearing problems in facial palsy patients in trigeminal neuralgia and other ent related problems right second you can see karan dhupan so fumigation of the ear karan dhupan is fumigation of the ear in that you can see in this picture fumes are coming from this is medicated fume in this case in karan dhupan we use uh, i was saying you turmeric na so we use turmeric we use gugul with that we use neem patra lodra and haldi and pili sarso peet sarsha fine so we just burn these drugs and the fumes coming from that is introduced into the air after mopping proper mopping and it is having very good results in csom asom and 
see these are the problems like hearing problem tinnitus in allopathy you don't have much results in csom you don't have much results people are taking antibiotics regularly they are cured after 5 6 days again there is same problem so these procedures yield very wonderful results third you can see nasya nasya i already told you pouring of 2 to 3 drops of medicated oil ghee or any drug into the nostrils you can see in the picture so nasya i must say the whole procedures i told you at one side and nasya at one side the nasya is uh, as a, a association we have a nasya right you see uh, ayurvedic people must be knowing that there is nasya in india there is an association for youngsters nasya name <laughs> so yeah. this name is having so much impact that there is an big association on that so it is true and in fact uh, people might be reminding that um, uh, guinness uh, book record was made uh, i think two two years prior that 1000 people were done nasya at the same time at jodhpur university at uh, nia so nasya is having wonderful results and i must say uh, i think if I, if i say about 100 people 80 people are having allergic rhinitis nowadays everybody is complaining of that i uh, i have sneezing early morning i uh, i have watery nose i have blockage of nose nasya is having wonderful results i'm i think in my opd in our section we are doing 20 to 30 nasyas daily so it is having wonderful results and people are just coming and saying themselves that yes we want to do nas they are so much aware of that i will show you in the video how you can go for nasya then dhumpan again fumigation medicated fumes inhaled through the nostrils this is dhumpan you can see in the picture kaval and gandush that is oil pulling see now i will show you in the uh, videos you can see nasya what you have to do like this facial massage is done you can see in this also when you we are doing facial massage you will see that uh, we press the marma points also when we are doing this facial massage and who are experts in marma they might be knowing that uh, it is not only to press those points marma therapy is not just to press the points in fact we can apply oil on those points that will be having equivalent results see the whole face the sinus areas where wherever there are sinuses the whole face is massaged properly see we are pressing the point right this is thapani first hour was pressed after facial massage we go for steam inhalation either it can be done with this way or either it can be done by the patient after steam inhalation we drop we are pouring the medicated oil it can be anutel it can be shardbindu oil it can be shar tel it can be shirvala oil depending upon the condition of the patient and as the oil comes in the pot it is spitted out and after that dhumpan is done i will show in, you in the next video dhumpan see you have to inhale the fumes from your nose and exhale it to the mouth it should be done nine times thrice from each nostril and three times so this is the dhum part it is actually post procedure of nasya and it can be do, uh, done solitary also after nasya dhum part should be done because the oil or the mucus that is left over in the uh, sinus areas is, is expelled out through dhum part next you can see this is karan puran proper massage proper uh, uh, steam inhalation after that oil is poured into the air and patient is asked to open and close the mouth so that it, this oil should be absorbed properly next is karan dhupan see how the fumes were coming right this was karan dhupan these were the procedures we are doing in our opd and ipd basis and uh, i must say i don't know people are not much aware about 
eye and ENT section of Ayurveda. People are not much aware that there are results, people are doing something or not. This is done in the small state Jammu. It's just done in Jammu only. This is just think that people, Ayurvedic doctors are working very much hard to propagate and to promote Ayurveda. So this was all uh, about the eye and ENT health through Ayurveda. So thank you. Thank you so much. Over to you, Ofra, and to the audience. If they want to ask some questions, they can. Please, they, if anyone needs to ask a question, please uh, open your microphone. Thank you, Dr. Lotika. It was a very practical one. And Thank I you. hope that people will take your advice. We will post it after that in the Vedicus uh, blog after we will release the recording. If anyone have a question or a doubt, please. Hi, uh, hi, this is Sanjay. I'm from Singapore. So thanks for the session. I just had a question, have a question on regarding the ear pain. So it was mentioned uh, that we have to do the mustard oil and the one clove of garlic. So yeah. the question whether we have to crush the garlic or we just have to put a uh, hole. No, no, you can put the clove of the garlic only. Need not to crush. All But right. in case of air wax, I told you, you need to crush that and just squeeze it out to get the juice of that garlic. Right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Any more? There is one who asked to describe again the decoction, but if someone wants to ask a question. Okay. How to make that decoction, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. What do you need to do? Just take half tablespoon of tripula, half tablespoon of muleti, that is yashti madhu, and put it in six glasses of water. Boil it till it gets half glass of water or one glass of water. In this way, you can make the decoction. Then keep it for some time. The sediments of tripula and muleti will be settled on the vessel and the upper layer of the water, you can sieve it either with cotton cloth or with cotton. So the clear water you get, you need to wash your eyes with that. Thank you. Anybody else? For now, no, but I think that we will have more later and we will send them to you if we need to. No, but sure, everyone no, is sure. waiting for us to upload the article that comes after the lecture. Okay, Thank you so much, Lotika. Dr. Lotika Barty from G Jammu. Uh, one question Lotika. is there, madam. Yes, please. Yes, Dr. Sapna. Yeah, uh, madam, first of all, thank you for such a brilliant uh, lecture. And thank secondly, you. Uh, I have a query regarding my uh, mother-in-law. She is suffering from glycoma, okay. and uh, huh, she has been operated once, but uh, still, what all I can practice for her vision and the dryness, which is reported by the ophthalmologist at the optical nerve. She is having open-angle glaucoma or closed-angle glaucoma? Open-angle glaucoma. Closed angle glaucoma, right? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, is she operated for that? Yeah, uh, uh, she has been operated once for that. But still the ophthalmologist is telling her uh, uh, about the dryness of the optic nerve. Like okay. some he is telling uh, on examination. So, we can, can we help her in any ways? Yes, yes, we can do that. In that case, we can uh, do Jaloka Charan. If you are Ayurvedic physician, you might be knowing about Jaloka Charan, that is leech therapy. And leech therapy is having very good results in uh, glaucoma, spe especially in uh, closed angle glaucoma. So, uh, if you need to consult about that, either you send me the reports, I will go through that and I will let you know what other things you can do in that case. Okay, thank you very much, madam. Okay, thank your you. Number, ma okay, I'll your personal number, ma'am? Okay, I'll share it. I'll share it. I'll share it. I'll mm. share it with Ofra. She will she will give it to you. It's okay. Thank Don't you. worry. Do, those that need the Lotika Ma'am uh, details can send me in the group a personal message and I will see that you get a connection. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, Madam. Okay, Dr. Yes. Anybody Miss, else? Miss Nishad Kajoria. She raised her hand. I think he left the group. No. No, no, yes, no, Mr. Yeah. Nishad, do you have any question? I think you he was have, just thank you. You have a very nice thank you on the chat box. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. 
and thank you ofra for this opportunity so that i think people should know about all these things that i and ent problems can be cured and can be prevented through ayurveda so let it thank be thank you so much you're you kind we we'll, we hope to have you more okay <laughs> thank you everyone and we will share more in the group for any doubts please share in the group and we will upload and share the link uh, whenever it's ready thank you dr lotika okay thank you ofra Bye. Right.